Our goal of the Information Technology Pathway is really to prepare students for a career in technology outside of Cumberland High School. Real world, real experiences, hands-on, that type of stuff. Not watered down versions that you may use in an introductory level class or may use in a program not geared towards career readiness specifically. We're really giving the students the tools that they're going to be using in real industry fields. That can be in a hardware aspect, it can be in a software aspect, it can be in data management. All that flexibility is offered within the information technology pathway. My favorite part about it is actually working on stuff hands-on, like working on Chromebooks and stuff. I've always been interested in that at home, so being able to do that for a grade at school kind of makes it a little nicer. I can uh, change out trackpads or keyboards. Uh, I can work on the software. I can help out teachers. For the class that I teach, which is strictly on the coding end of things, uh, we use Java version 8, which is the most up-to-date version of Java. It is the most common and most popular and most widely used programming language in the business world today. We have a big mix of kids in uh, the information technology pathway. We have students interested in the coding aspect of things, but also those interested more in graphic design, more in website design, and those kind of interested in maybe building their own computers someday. And a lot of that is all important and it all falls under the umbrella of the information technology pathway. But it does also offer them the choice to become a little more specialized if they decide exactly what they want to do. When I get out of high school, I plan to go into either microprocessing or computer engineering. I'm looking into either an IT field or something such as computer science, which would kind of build off of what I'm doing here, like working on Chromebooks. It gives me hands-on experience to kind of do what I want to do further. We cater to students of all skill levels and all interests. Uh, it's not only students that are super invested in pursuing a career in computer science in the future, but also students that may just be curious. It'll benefit me in the future in getting into a technology college like ITT Tech or New England Tech, especially in a today's society where the world is kind of run by technology. As opposed to normal classes where you're just getting a general education, you're learning a bunch of different things in a unit and you're just getting tested on it, it's more specialized to what you are interested in and what you want to work on, so it kind of helps you fill your path to what you want to do for your further education.